fire signs to your chakra reading for September. Welcome back, everyone. Anyone new? Welcome, welcome. Okay, guys, let's get in here and see what's going on with your chakras at this time. Um, this is for Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Okay, let's see. Best message is coming out. This is considered an energy reading of the element of air, right? Uh, the first card coming out for your chakras is opening up and understanding that heart chakra with the love. And I love, love, love that card. This card is also asking you guys to remember your true essence in every single cell in your, your being that is vibrating to this powerful essence of love. You're going through a challenging time at a present, such as a relationship breakup, a challenging family situation, friendship breakdown, or some personal challenges. Okay. This card is reminding you that love is the key to your current situation, and it's time to bring the focus back to the love, to the heart chakra, and what is important and true for you. Hmm. So let's just see what the other cards are. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Look at all the green, too, coming out of this. Look at that. It's a beautiful uh, third eye chakra card coming out right here. Um saying I can clearly understand that I can persevere, that I can do what I need to do through what? Through love. And you have all this green coming out with that heart chakra really being open. So definitely getting back to what it is I truly desire, what I truly love. Okay, so the next card coming out is guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. This is saying that I am going to ground myself while seeing all the red chakra coming out of the situation. This is a beautiful uh, sacral chakra card saying that the desires that I have within myself brings me back to the beliefs of what it is I truly need for myself, for my heart, for my desires. And I'm going to release anything that do doesn't serve me. Right? It is time now for you to just release, guys. Release what no longer serves you. It doesn't matter what it is. If it's something that's sticking to you that is not for your highest good, it is time to release that. Don't feel guilty about it either, right? Because there's no reason to feel guilty. You should never have to feel guilty about releasing something that doesn't serve you. If it's not helping you and it's hurting you, never feel guilty about that because there's no reason to, right? There's no reason to feel guilty for going after your own passions, okay? So let's see what's next. Bringing in the material harvest with the nine of coins over here. This is saying that I am, I have planted the seeds. I am going after what I want to harvest. It's my turn. It's my turn to do what it is that I need to do. This is the ending. You see that nine. The ending for something beautiful to appear. Okay. So having this beautiful nine of coins. Uh, Pentacles over here is saying one of the laws of the universe is what you sow you reap because that's definitely what this card is You reap what you sow This card states that it is your time to reap the harvest you've worked for and so rightly deserve This last physical card denotes self-mastery self-sufficiency independence security and the art of enjoying what you've strived for You've done the hard work Hey You've learned the lessons along the way and used them to prosper in every areas of your life. Okay. This is the card of endings. Not that good fortune necessarily stops, but do honor yourself as you finish up or celebrate the completion of these projects, of these things that no longer serve you. Right? So cons consider now smart investments and ponder ideas that show profitable Potential congratulations on your success. You've earned it. So it's saying by releasing these things another door opens But look you've already sown the seeds You know exactly what you're doing You know and but if you know that I sow these seeds around this But I haven't 100% let it go now. It's saying it's time Right to le release those self-limiting doubts release anything that does not serve you so you can allow that reward to truly flourish within your life being at acceptance nine again that's going to be number 49 
that's saying I have the roots of my foundations using my, right, my base chakra, my root chakra, and then bringing in that beautiful ending again. And then, of course, that's a card that has so much, once again, of the heart chakra saying, I, I release to receive. When your heart is open, you're ready to receive. Right, and then communicate. There's so much communication in here, too, with the throat chakra. Communicating what it is I truly need for myself. So really feeling that acceptance. Okay, so this card is talking, though. It's saying, though, though not easy, it is important to start accepting how you feel. Pain, illness, discomfort, work, stress, miscommunication, and poor timing are all a part of life. Accepting how you feel right now is the first step towards healing. Being in physical or emotional pain can put you on edge. You may be angry that you must face this challenge. Well, it's saying there is a challenge. We've seen that already in the Perseverance card. You may feel down because you don't understand why something is happening to you. Accepting what is going on may help you identify the root cause of the disappointment you can then there, explore your options and determine your preferred outcome. But as we know, it's not always happening to you. It's happening for you. So we have to understand what is happening to you means it's happening for you, no matter whether it's a negative or a positive situation. Okay. I know we don't like to accept that situation because a lot of times we say, okay, so if this horrible situation is happening for me, but it, yet I feel it's happening to me, and it's so horrifying, how do I accept that? It is a challenge. <laughs> That's a challenge in itself. I'm no guru, but I will tell you one thing. I watch, a, you know, I go to a class from a guru, from a master, who's done all this. And I tell you, and I've watched so many of them, they say the same thing, and it's just, it's crazy. It's like, yeah, you accept what is going on so that you can get yourself out of that sticky situation. I'm not saying it's easy, because I'm right there with you, right? But I'm telling you, this is the way it works, right? It's like one of those things, like, like it or love it, it doesn't really matter. It is what it is. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Temperance. Yeah, because you're tempering the waters over here. You're balancing out the situation. And when it comes to a reading like this, when we're talking about exactly what we're saying, accepting that this is all coming to you and having this happen, right, this challenge is so challenging, but you need to open up your heart and have compassion towards yourself so that you can release those things, no matter how difficult they are, having and accepting that situation so we can close that door, so we can have the harvest, have the rewards, right? So that's literally what the temperance is doing. She's taking, like, the negative into the, the positive over here, and she's swishing the waters around. See, even with her feet, she is, she's checking out the water, one foot's out, one foot's in, because she's saying, oh, we're going to see how this works. It's a card of all balance, duality, you know, of negative versus, you know, the positive within the situation. And there is going to be that, because it's going to feel like you are being pulled into these directions because of the guilt card. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth, feeling like, well, if I do that, though, I don't feel, right, am I going to feel imbalanced about the situation? How am I going to accept that? No one said it's easy. Right? If anything, you know, if life had a handbook, it would be so much easier. Um, but definitely this is what it's saying. One, test the waters to see which way is going to be the best way to release, to heal, to get to what it is we want. So there is going to be a lot of patience on your part, but there's also going to be a, a lot of mix, you know, kind of like mixology over here of the dualities of the positive versus the negative when it comes to the perseverance versus the guilt. But remember, opening up the heart before the receiving is the way we need to do it, but we can only do that once we accept, shit, this is the way it is. I don't like it. I don't like this test. I don't like this challenge, you know. You might even be telling me, I don't like your reading. <laughs> 
I, you know, and I have to tell you, sometimes I don't like my readings either because it's like, oh my God, don't tell me that, right? But you got to know, well, that's because that's when that, you know, I only come to the conclusion we only like, don't like the readings when we know it's the, sometimes the ultimate truth and the truth is like, damn it, right? Because that's exactly what it's saying. There's so many rewards coming to you where it's going to open these doors See, and that's, that's it right there. As the ending happens and you're going through this beautiful, you know, getting yourself back into a balanced area of what it is you truly need, right? And know that you can do anything that you set your mind to. This card right here is, you know, within the heart's desire. I think this one right here, you know, but you have to be in acceptance of that, right? This right here is the strongest piece besides the heart, of course, itself. But we can't get to the love of the of what it is we truly desire until we have that understanding that it's like, mm, okay, I'm going to persevere. I have to keep my mind set on this situation because you know what? I can do what I want. And it shows you can. Because then within the nine of pentacles to the acceptance, that's that beautiful opportunity that comes rushing in towards you. Remember, this is where your heart's on fire. It's, it's wands. That's a fire card. Everything comes at you passionately. Everything comes at you in a flame, right, to open these doors. So then all of a sudden it feels like you're unstoppable. You're going to have this feeling once everything goes this way that you are in this unstoppable area and your strength is just shining through because then you're going to say, okay, you know what, that's it then. There is a lot of possibility. You're right. Here it all comes together. Getting out of that sticky situation where that strength and that confidence builds for you. And you will, because once you're out of that, ex, you know, you come to this, come to this area of acceptance and saying, okay, fine. Because you know what, if it's, if it's not a challenge, then it's beautiful, but then the challenge will come back. All it's going to do is set you up to get ready for the next challenge again. And this time you're going to do it differently. Of course, each challenge, you know, wants to challenge you a little bit different unless you fail that challenge. But once you get past that challenge and have that greater understanding, each challenge is going to be a little easier in certain ways because you'll say, okay, you know, let's do it again. Persevere, let it go, accept, yeah, well, if I don't do this, I won't learn from it, right? There's a reason it's there um, for my learning. Welcome to earth school. Um, but I'll have the strength and the passion to be able to carry this out. See, and then it puts you right back on that path. This path here. Now, you have a, a lot of major arcanas here. Remember, major arcanas are things that we cannot control. The chariot has, the driver has no reins because the universe is in control of this situation. The only places you have are all the lesser arcanas, right, which are saying these are where your choices come. That's where your free will is coming in. But otherwise, all the major arcanas are all the challenges, all the, you know, all the things going and then the aces come out and say, here's your opportunities, right? Here's your gifts. The aces are pretty much like the gift, right? It's either going to be the, the greatest giving or I'm going to take it away, right? Depending on if it's right side up or upside down, right? Or a missed opportunity, however you want to see that. Because, see, even at the bottom, it says, then here we go. We can discuss the situations, having an open situation, more open communication about the situation and the opportunities to explore, open the mind, use that analytical thinking that you guys use so beautifully. And your analytical thinking is going to, look, now you've got the clear thing. Your intuition is open with your already analytical mind, your air. You use the analytical thinking all the time. So really looking at out of the basis Okay, well, we're going to go over each sign now, okay? So through each sign, it's going to say, okay, so we know that we're all analytical thinkers. It's just that between Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, we do it a little bit different, but we do it because we're error, right? So let's go ahead and see how you're going to deal with this each sign-wise, starting with beautiful Gemini. I'm just going to go in a row. That way I don't get lost, right? I did the other reading, you guys, and I went backwards, and then I ended up kind of getting this way. Who did I miss? So funny. Okay, here we go. So 
Gemini, it says that, you know, with you, you're going to use this energy that's going to actually allow that impulsiveness. So you're going to actually use that Ace of Wands as an impulsive, as really pushing out the impulsiveness because you're going to take that with the inspired action. You're going to find yourself really when you come to this acceptance and you have this, this you know, go at this and you have this understanding, you know, and that chakras in a row and it's saying you are passionately pushing everything out as the Knight of Wands. Saying this movement is going to make me actually want to move more fearlessly. Wow. And with that courageousness coming in. So between the Ace of Wands and the Strength card, you are really pushing yourself to that extreme limit. Wow. Wow. Because it's going to make you so focused, right? It's going to make you so focused that all you're going to do is just push towards this. Because you're going to have this greater understanding with the Ace of, of Swords that's saying, okay, so once your analytical mind comes in and you want to push towards that chariot, that chariot's going to really make you push out like a fearless warrior, the valiant warrior. Wow. And this is where you're going to really feel like you're really focused on that passion. It's like, I got this. I'm, I'm going to do this. Wow. That's beautiful. So we're going to go Libra next. Now, Libra, you're going to have to find some balance within this situation. As I tell you guys all the time. And that's that's because you're going to use a lot of this temperance energy of really pushing back and forth, back and forth. But you have the King of Cups coming out. So it says through this situation, there is going to be this, this place where you're going to say, okay, that's fine. I'm going to use the Ace of Swords with the strength for the chariot, understanding and using all of this. As the King of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Do not see the Queen of Pentacles in reverse as a negative. Because even if it's upside down, it doesn't always have to be negative. It's actually telling you you're taking in self-care. You're bringing it in, right? Because this Queen of Pentacles says, I'm in self-care mode. That means that I'm not going to... I know it's going to sound weird, um, but it's needed. And we know it's self-care because of the Cups. The the King and Queen of Cups does a lot of self-care, a lot of self-healing. So actually what the Queen of Pentacles says is, I'm not going to push all of that 100% um, nurturing out to everybody else. Because remember, Queen of Pentacles wants to just nurture the world, right? She's like, I'm going to, I'm going to nest everybody in my bird nest, right? Okay, just see it that way. Okay. And no, and now it's saying, no, 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 no. I'm centering myself deep down inside and I'm going to really find the emotional balance, okay, through the situation so that I'm going in deep for more self-care because that's where I'm going to find this courageousness. This is where I'm going to hone in this overall perseverance and then push it out for the acceptance. Does it make sense? Because the next card coming out is balance. Sorry, that I mean, literally, that's what it is because it says you're going to, because you have to balance. Now, what you're doing, well, this is kind of crazy. Libra Scorpio, um, air water got the same, the same thing. So the Libra Scorpio in that reading got the same thing. So you're doing the same thing. You're going to take in the emotion, balance the emotion with the um, analytical. Wow. Okay, so you're, it's like you're, you're pushing them around. That way you can feel balanced. Okay, not too much of one or the other. Okay, so let's go to the beautiful Aquarius. Okay. Now, Aquarius is more analytical thinking, as we all know, more than any other sign. <laughs> right? Okay, so talk about in your head, right? The in, in your head sign. So Libra wants to balance. You want to be, the uh, Gemini is a very passionate sign with analytical thinking, right? And the Aquarius wants to, you guys are going to want to sit back, think, there it is. You want to sit back and you can't tell me. You want to sit back and think about all the opportunities, everything, all the breakthroughs, what's the new idea, making this decision, bringing this in, using your sharp mind. You're kind of like, uh, that. you're definitely going to be in your own energy of head over heart, Right? You're going to say, I'm, I'm not going to use the emotions as much as I'm going to think about this situation 
from that mental clarity. So literally having this card, I love this, having this card lay on top of the intuition. Look, you're all using your intuition no matter what. It's about how you're balanced. You're literally saying intuition is there, but I'm going to challenge that intuition in some ways to analytically think if they, if they match. That's what you do. That's what you do. If I have a gut feeling, I'm going to write that gut feeling down and then I'm going to kind of, because no matter what your air signs, you want to pro and cons everything. It's just that Libra is really, really, you know, it has a duality thing going on. But this is definitely what you're going to do because you're going to say, okay, well, if my gut feeling says this, let's look at this from an analytical point of view, right? Really getting down those new ideas. Is this going to work? And this is because you want to be connected to the higher self. This is how you're going to connect yourself for this acceptance, for this attraction, for this, you know, united mutual attraction between you and your higher self, you and what you need. Okay. And that's very good. You guys are doing great. I love how everything's going off your energy, literally. Okay. So the overall reading for you guys is the Ten of Cups, because there is going to be this divine feeling that you have coming out of this situation, which is definitely for each one of you signs, right? From, you know, from the quality of you, of your air quality is saying there will be this rainbow because there will be the blessing, which is the overall reward. Just make sure that you are giving it back to yourself right now because it's all about your soul's growth and it's all about, hey, you know what? We look, look at that. We put in, here you are sowing the seeds, looking at them, nine of pentacles, reaping what you sow. Booyah. Right? That's it. I mean, that's literally, but you have to start with this place, right? You're going to start with this place of opening because no matter what spirit says right now, do not allow yourself not to push right now. You know, you guys are all shifting, right? And we're going to shift no matter what, because it's springtime, it's fall time, depending on which side of the world you're on for the majority of you, it's fall time, right? But my beautiful Australians, New Zealanders, it is definitely right getting ready for fall, uh, for spring so no matter what is each season comes it makes us want to shift no matter what for that season um but there is also this huge universal i don't know if it's a universal but definitely a worldly um shift going on um where everybody's having it's the it's because of the year of the wood dragon the wood dragon's making everybody shift and quantum leap Okay. The majority of everybody is quantum leaping for the better good, going into shifting for the best. And if you see and notice some people shifting backwards, yeah, into the past, don't be surprised about that either. Okay. Going backwards, you don't want to go backwards. Don't go backwards. These are people who are having a really, really rough, rough, rough time. So anyways, in the near future, Spirit says, within the next few weeks in the near future, you will remain positive because you're going to start seeing the shift. You start seeing the rewards. You start seeing that you want to choose a new direct. Yeah. See, because it's going to make you shift into this one direction. Once you accept everything and you're getting your rewards, it's going to ask you to do it again. Right? Because there's always going to be a decision. So, like, if we did this again, remember, because we have the seven of cups. So, have one cup to the next cup. Of course, you're going to feel like a kid in a candy store for a second with all the ideas um, that you're going to, you know, be mainframing. But... Remember, after all of that, in the next few weeks, you're going to be asked to pull into another direction. Life is always about directions. Because with the chariot, it says you're on the right path. But remember, there's always going to be split roads coming, right? To where you're going to start, you know, moving to the next direction. Then you get your reward, and then you'll probably be tested again in the next you know, three months or two months, or you'll be tested again on this area, this house, seventh house, fifth house, fourth house. <laughs> Life is, yeah, you know, and it's like, then it was calm and then a challenge came. Damn it. Right. Hey, 
You know, according to the way they say it, we, we put ourselves on this mission. We said we wanted Earth School, so here we are. Till next time, my friends. Looks beautiful. Peace and love. Bye-bye.